So, whew, um, it's been a week, and what a week it's been. Oh my god. And mostly, mostly, I'm referring to the football game that was this Saturday. Now, if you don't watch football, and if you don't follow Florida football, you won't know that the Gators defeated Tennessee 20-26 to on like a last-minute bomb to the end zone, and you won't know what any of that means. But to me, to me, that... Whoa. For my first home game in the swamp is a member of the band like that. Wow, that was just oh my god. I apologize to my non-football fan followers, but like that ending is is not something you normally see. In fact, let's let's show it now so you can see just what I saw. So now here we are, nine seconds left. Gators first down, 37-yard line, left hash. Snap to Franks. Franks dropping back, stepping up, running the ball, looking, looking. He's going to heave one deep down the field. It's going to be to the goal line. It's going to be gone. It's a touchdown. And the Gators have won the game. <laughs> Tyreek Cleveland. Oh, man. I mean, I don't even know how it feels to not understand what's going on in that play. And if you don't, I'm sorry. But I just want to talk about, like, like what that play kind of means. Football, and really any sport, isn't entertaining to watch if you know the end result. If your team is killing it and is winning every game by like a ton of points it's is it really fun to watch at that point just watching people demolish like if you're watching uh, a professional team play uh, play a high school team it's not going to be fun to watch because you know what's going to happen the fun thing about sports is that really anything can happen however unlikely and it's a toss-up every time and, and, and the fear of loss is really what makes it just so thrilling. Everyone in that stadium thought that the game was going to overtime. They thought the clock was going to run out and, and we were just going to go into overtime and hope to win there. And it'd be really stressful. But that's not what happened. What happened was magic. And, and, and that, that thrill of the unknown happening was just unbearable I that's not the right word I don't know the word I couldn't control what I was feeling like the thing is with being in the band that a lot of people don't think about is that when your team scores you have to play the fight song and whether you're excited and want to yell about it or not you have to settle down and play the fight song and and so as much as I wanted to scream and yell and hug people and just love life in that moment I needed to, to put my air through my instrument and play the fight song. Now, it didn't really work out like that. Mostly it was me standing still trying not to jump up and down and my air was kind of just like fuff, fuff, fuff. like I couldn't I couldn't fully play the instrument like I usually do. Um and and that's just the weirdest feeling uh that you can't even control your air cuz I just wanted to yell and jump and scream and oh my god. The place was electric. 90,000 people actually Less than 90,000 people yelling, even though the stadium holds 90,000 people, some of those were Tennessee fans, and they, they, were, they weren't screaming and, and, and yelling and, and being happy for us, so a little less than 90,000. But still, even if it was 80,000 people, which it was more than that, yelling and screaming about the game, it's electric in there. I mean, it was loud. Oh my god, I can't even describe the atmosphere. Um, uh, I don't know. Moral of the story is that does my football team, is my football team amazing? Um, no, not right now, at least. But, but they're, they're getting close games. And as much as that stresses me out, the thrill of it is, is almost worth it in a way. I remember back in 2008 and all those years when the Gators were just dominant and they would always win and I expect them to win. And, and, and now it's it's a toss-up every time and part of me likes that don't get me wrong i want to win every time but part of me likes the fact that i have to fear the loss i don't have to i, I can't look at other teams and be like ah we'll beat them i i have to sit back and think we might lose this game i never thought i would ever feel like this and and i don't know does anyone else get this feeling towards sports where, where sometimes you're okay with your team not being amazing because you you like the unpredictability? I I don't know. I might be really weird. That that might not be a normal thing for people. Anyway, guys, that's all I got for you this week. Still haven't set up my tripod in here, which is why I'm holding it with my phone. But um, I'll see you next week, guys. Bye. I can't believe what I just saw. The Gators have won the ball game on a bottom throw by Felipe Franks, and this place is an insane asylum again. How oh, my. Tennessee again!